So let me go ahead and show you the team that I've been rocking in three, two, one. Here it is. Do you guys want to kickstart your Foot22 team off with a bang? Head over right now to AOEAH.com to get yourself Foot22 coins and use the code NERD at the checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the top line of the description. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and today I am going to be showing you guys the team I rocked to get rank one in Foot Champions this weekend. So if you didn't know, this weekend that has just gone was the first ever weekend of FIFA 22 Foot Champions. Obviously with the brand new format, it was completely different and interesting to see how it was going. I think a lot of people actually seem to like the new format. It's a bit more casual, less competitive, and also you still get decent rewards. So if you haven't seen the new format, let me quickly run you through it now. So obviously first things first, you've got to get through the playoffs and you have nine games to play in the playoffs and you have to win five out of the nine to get a token to then redeem to qualify for the weekend league. Then after the playoffs for the weekend league, you have 20 games that you can play overall. And to get rank one, the best rewards, you have to win 16 out of the 20. The rank below that is 12 out of 20, then eight out of 20, and then four out of 20. And then for the bottom two ranks, you can lose all 20 and you will get them rank rewards. So that's the brand new format. If you guys played this weekend, make sure you do let me know in the comments where you finished. But today, obviously, like I said, I'm going to show you guys the team I rocked for this weekend league. Please do brace yourselves though, because it's a little bit disgusting i'm not gonna lie so let me go ahead and show you the team that i've been rocking so straight into the keeper as you can see mr david de gea he is our goalkeeper of choice so far david de gea has been my favorite keeper i know i'm a united fan i'm not even just saying that as a united fan he's been the best keeper i've used i've used allison i've used edison i've used jersey dudek the hero card and i'm telling you david de gea is the best keeper that i've used so far 100 and he was solid for me this weekend moving on to the right back my favorite right back i've used so far very expensive though i think even more than what I actually paid for him. But that is indeed Mr. Hakimi. Uh, for obviously, the PSG links. Hakimi is so, so good. 95 paces. Well, he's got good passing. He's just an overall beast. A very, very good right back on this game. Then, on to our first centre-back. We've got Mr. Virgil van Dijk. As he should be, he is literally one of the best centre-backs on this game. Definitely very, very solid. His interceptions, his tackling, etc. Obviously, his pace as well. He is a very, very good centre-back. And then, joining him, the new Man United man. Of course, he's in the team. And, of course... He is absolutely ridiculous. It is indeed Mr. Raphael Varane. Once again, one of the best centre-backs on the game. Probably the best centre-back partnership, excluding icons that you can get in Varane and Van Dijk. I'd probably say it. At least from personal experience, they've been insane. Then on to the left-back, the most used left-back from FIFA 21. Carrying over probably to FIFA 22. That is indeed Mr. Ferland Mendy. As you can probably already guess, this guy is just as good as last year. Like, he is ridiculous. Like, so good. Now on to our first midfielder. At least actually starting in midfielder. I'll obviously show you what we play in game after. But it is indeed... The man, Mr. Neymar Jr. I'd probably say not as good as he was last year, but still obviously very, very good. Like, he's one of the best gold cards in the game that you can get. But he does a solid job on the left midfield for me, and he's the first midfielder in the team. Now, our central centre mid in this team. It is indeed the man, base... Zinedine Zidane. This guy is ridiculous, as you could probably guess. I mean, he literally did cost me 2.7 million. So I guess you'd hope he's pretty good. But he is very, very good. Like, very good. I mean, the stats literally speak for themselves. I don't really need to tell you anymore. If you want to see his attributes, like, his attributes are insane. Ridiculous card, but he is, like, nearly 3 mil. So you'd expect it to be good. And then the third and final midfielder, the best gold centre defensive midfielder you're going to find, definitely, 100%. Please try and find someone better. But it is indeed the man, Mr. N'Golo Kante. What a card. He's as good good as he is at any start of FIFA. Like, the guy is cracked. Now on to the attack. First up, on the right wing, we have got Lionel Messi. Finesse shot heaven with him at the moment. And until that gets patched, this guy's banging them finesse shots on his left foot as many times as you want in a game. And then striker strong link into Messi. We've got Mr. Killian and Bappe. I'd say the best gold striker card in this game. I've used Ronaldo and Mbappe, and I'd probably say Mbappe is just a bit better, in my opinion. And then the final piece of the jigsaw, the main man in my attack. This guy is ridiculous. It's none other than David Ginola. Costing me, at the time, a whopping 1.8 million. And repping the five-star skills, five-star weak foot, the best attacker I've used, hands down, no questions in this game. He is literally ridiculous. So this is obviously the team in the starting formation before we switch to the in-game formation. Also, let me go ahead and show you my bench and reserve just so you can see some of the other players that we've got a hold of as well. So on the bench, we've got Solskjaer. Actually, talking about Solskjaer, let me just cue the clip of a goal he scored for me this weekend, Lee. Oh, they got a Solskjaer! Oh, he's at the wheel! 
if you ask me, that was literally, I think, his first goal for me in the club as well. So that was sick. Then we got Sancho, Bruno Fernandes, Wijnaldum, Jao Cancelo, Rashford, Flashback Pedro. And then on to reserves, we've got Upamecano, Foden, Lewandowski, Werner, and player of the month. Kulabali. So that's the team bench reserves. So what we'll do now is I'll show you the formations we rock in game. And in terms of the tactics, I'm not actually going to show you the tactics because I actually used a pros tactics, which I'll tell you about in a second. But the formation that we rocked for this weekend league was the 4-4-2 bracket two. So the back four being the same, there's two CDMs, was it Dan on the left, Kante on the right, then left mid we had Neymar, right mid we had Messi, and then up top left striker is Ginola and right striker was Mbappe. Honestly, this formation was absolutely solid. And like I said, in terms of the tactic, I actually didn't create my own tactics. I actually copied them off a pro. And it is indeed the man XL underscore Tom. So I'm going to leave a link in the top line of the description to his custom tactics, instructions, etc. The other formations as well. So you can check them out. Definitely go and check it out because I don't think I would have got ranked one without them. So make sure you check them. Link will be below. So yes, that is indeed the team and the formation that we rocked. And I believe if we were the overall value of this team on Footbin. We're looking at just over 9 million coins on PlayStation and 7.4 million on the Xbox. And also if you're on PC, 9.4 million. So you might be wondering, how have I even got a team like this at the start of the game? Why? And you're probably also very disgusted. Same here, really. It's pretty disgusting. But basically, I took part in a pack competition the other week, sponsored by the team over at Rush.gg. Me and a load of other content creators did a massive pack opening where they supplied us with each 360,000 FIFA points. So I haven't loaded up loads myself. Big thanks to Rush.gg for giving us them and basically bolstering our squad and allowing us to make a team just like this. However, just to add something interesting to the pack opening, from 360,000 FIFA points, my best pull was Marcus Rashford as the most expensive player. So, you know, didn't get anything massive, but obviously we made a lot of coins from discards and just some of the low-rated expensive players, like the likes of Lacroix, etc. So, that is indeed the team that got us to rank one. If you haven't seen the rewards, make sure you check out my video yesterday. But now, let me just show you some of the clips from this weekend league. If you didn't know, I stream literally most of my weekend league games over on twitch.tv slash nerdfireyt. So, go drop me a follow. There'll be a link in the description as well, so go check that out. But let me roll you some clips and especially the final clip of us actually scoring in the 92nd minute in plus two minutes of added time to get rank one. Woo! Go on, Zizu! That's why you get Zizu in the team. I mean, he's very expensive. Pen I got a penalty for that! I'll take it. If he's onside, that is a disgusting pass. Neymar. Ginola! Come on, Messi, put it in. Leo Messi! Right, compose your FC. See, let's go. All right, let's go. There we go. So that was some of the clips on us using this team this weekend league. And obviously, like I said, hitting that rank one right at the end. Like I said earlier, though, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below where you finished this weekend league. Was it good? Was it bad? Did you find it hard? Did you prefer it to the last weekend leagues, the different format? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.